My name is Jennifer Knight. I'm the secondary principal here at Earlham High School. To the many guests that are here, the relatives, the friends, the seniors, welcome to our school. To all of you, thank you for coming today to celebrate this milestone achievement for these seniors as they close the chapter on their public school K-12 education and begin a new adventure. I am so pleased we could gather together to celebrate our seniors. We will officially begin our commencement ceremony today by inviting all of our high school choir members to the side stage to perform Slipping Through My Fingers, recorded by Abba and conducted by Ashley Myers.
Thank you. Wasn't that a wonderful way to start our commencement today? Nice song choice. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Stephen Castor, our superintendent. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2024. Today we gather here to celebrate a significant milestone in your lives, seniors the high school graduation of these talented, resilient, and extraordinary young adults. It's with immense pleasure and honor that I stand before you today as we open this graduation ceremony. First and foremost, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of the graduates. You've successfully navigated through the challenges, triumphs, and countless hours of hard work to reach this pivotal moment. This achievement symbolizes the culmination of years of dedication, perseverance, an unwavering commitment. Today you stand on the doorstep of a new chapter, a chapter brimming with endless possibilities, boundless potential, and the chance to shape your own destinies. As you embark on the exciting journey, remember the lessons learned during your time in high school. High schools provided you not only with academic knowledge, but also life skills and the ability to persevere when challenges present itself. Now equipped with the tools and knowledge necessary, you have the opportunity to make a positive impact on the world. Graduation is not merely an endpoint, but a beginning. The in invitation to embrace new challenges, to dream big, and pursue your passions with unwavering determination. The world eagerly, eagerly awaits your contributions you will make and it is your responsibility to seize every opportunity that comes your way. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Graduates, go be trailblazers. Individuals who fearlessly embrace the unknown, who are afraid to challenge the status quo, and who strive to make a positive difference in the lives of others. You are the leaders of tomorrow, the change makers, and the dreamers who will shape a brighter future. Congratulations, class of 2024. Celebrate this moment, momentous occasion, but never forget the journey that got you to today. Go Cards. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the senior selected guest speaker for today, and I'd normally put a whole bunch of stuff together, but this person needs no introduction other than their name. Please put your hands together and welcome the senior speaker for today's graduation ceremony, Crystal Hale. Grow into individuals who are ready to take on the world. 
Each of you brings something unique to the world, just as each verse and singer brought something unique to We Are The World. Within this class, there are athletes, the artists, the academics, the workers, the musicians, the actresses or actors. You have all played a part in shaping the spirited, the spirited group that makes up this senior class. Now, before we get into the words of encouragement and my life advice for the rest of your life, let's take a moment to head down memory lane. I will personally name some of you and others, well, if you know, you know. <laughs> my earliest memories of this class begin in or around the school year 2008-2009 at McKinsey's daycare. Colleen, did I hear you just say that? Um, I had forgotten to let daycare know of Walker's newfound ability to unlock the screen doors. Well, he unlocked the screen door at McKinsey's on an overcast and misty day. Once the door was unlocked, unlocked and open, Walker and Alex set out to explore her room together. Uh, did I mention there were two? <laughs> Zach also attended this daycare, and he either stayed back because he didn't know the two were headed out for an adventure, or maybe he was gone that day. My money is on the fact that he was gone because I'm pretty sure he would not have missed an opportunity to explore with the two daycare buddies. <laughs> My next memory of this class dates back to fourth grade and involves a girl who shall remain nameless who struggled with blurting, so much blurting that she had a tally chart on her desk where she had to tally each time she blurted <laughs> to encourage her to think before she blurted. In this same class, there was another classmate who had some big emotions that she struggled to keep in check some days. The level of maturity is impressive, ladies. You know who you are. Now we skip to 2018, where we had the most epic live Fortnite birthday party ever known in the school, in the city park. I remember the laughs, the fun, the yelling, and the body aches from all the steps that I took that day, dropping packages, drop, yep. Um, so anyway, they could build their forts, they could build, um, all they needed to to protect themselves in their Fortnite world. And now how about those forts that some of you built around town? I even got a call from a mom once after the boys maybe used sticks that were still attached to her neighbor's trees for their fort on a wet, rainy day. Then there were those forts that were built in my living room and some other living rooms or basements around town where the TV and Xbox would travel from house to house. We cannot forget to take a moment to remember the trips to Terabithia the grandparents' pond and grandpa's gun shop. That one had me questioning the move to the small town for a brief moment. Uh, then there were the birthday parties playing laser tag and all the other adventures around town. Some I'm sure we know nothing about. That's okay. As for the girls in this class, we really got to know each other in middle school. Well, before we went home for spring break and never came back that year. The friendships were so tight amongst so many of you that it was hard to get a word in, even as a teacher when I attempted to teach. I remember always being torn between wanting to build good relationships with you and chatting or doing my job and attempting to teach and get you to try to be quiet. I remember traveling to Greenfield on a Saturday to watch girls play basketball. This might have been seventh grade. And I remember telling Ben the girls that were on the team, and he's terrible with names, but there was always one that he knew for sure. That was the tall girl. Can you all guess who that was? <laughs> So many of you are known to Ben through descriptions or stories he's experienced with you. For example, there's the one that lives where we picked up the football equipment in elementary school. The one who lives around the corner and was speedy. Ryan, still disappointed that you didn't stick with basketball. <laughs> and one of our household favorites, Hank, LeBron, Eddie. <laughs> How about the day that the twins switched places in 8th grade human services at my request to see if I would notice? What I noticed was that Owen was very quiet that day compared to other days, and I decided not to jinx it and ask any questions. I just appreciated the quiet. <laughs> then there was the return from COVID, where the school got to develop a return to learn plan. I was tasked with reaching out to all of the incoming freshman students to ask them a few questions. I do remember when I called Philip on his cell phone, he was very confused how I got the number and what I was calling him for. <laughs> to be fair, I called him off first and got the phone number. Okay. Since it was softball season, someone gave me the idea to meet with the girls of this class after softball practice. I put out a Facebook message that I would meet with them for about 15 or 20 minutes following practice. Well, remember that talking I mentioned earlier? One and a half to two hours later, I was posting another Facebook post apologizing and stating that I had forgotten just how much this group likes to talk, and we were just finishing. This brings us to 
to our freshman year, where you all got to be in a cohort class all day long with the same people. I remember that having to spend that much time together throughout the day proved tough. Managing personalities and trying to convince some of you that it was okay to stop talking. Are you seeing a trend here with the talking? In order to listen and learn. Um, sorry, I just lost this. <laughs> talking in order to listen was no easy task with this group. The thing I remember appreciating and struggling with the most was the big personalities in this group, who just enjoyed their classmates so much that they were always talking to each other. If only we could have just sat around and talked about life, things would have been so much easier. Anyway, back to freshman year, where we were all a little stir-crazy. And many of you convinced me to take you outside often at the end of the day. I would say yes, but only as long as you stayed six feet apart and kept your mask on. You all nodded and promptly did the opposite. <laughs> Sorry parents, I really did do my best. The smiles from the normalcy was worth it. The roughhousing between a certain trio of students always went unnoticed. Unfortunately or fortunately, I think of a lot of you as my school kids, all of you as my school kids, and I was able to tune things out as if I was tuning out my own children. Sorry, Marty, Jalen was pretty sneaky. <laughs> there are so many more memories, and I just need to share a couple more. Like, how about those mornings I spent greeting students, and one of you always responded to my good morning with a good afternoon. I was the lucky chaperone for this year's senior prank, and I got some of the best content for today from that time I spent with this class. First, I want to acknowledge how many of you showed up. That was impressive to spend that time together. Just a second time, Megan, but I got emotional. Um, it solidified my thought that I think of this group as really like siblings. They can mess with each other, they can talk crap about each other, but let somebody else do it, and there's going to be a problem. Now, some of the best moments from that evening include some of the best quotes that I've ever heard. The first was a question after turning the bathroom sinks into the, an aquarium. Wait, is this vandalism? <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> Next, a girl walks into the boys' bathroom and states, Wow, I've never been in here before. <laughs> I think that we expect that. And finally, I just rolled down the ramp with scissors in my hand. Uh, then there was the moment when I, uh, Kira almost gave me a panic attack because I thought she was writing, painting class of 2024 with red paint on one of the ceiling tiles in the main hallway. Turns out she was responsible and had paper on the tile first. Parents, I did my best to supervise this evening, but they were all over the place as every room had a plan. Finally, as it was time to head out of the school, following the shenanigans, someone suggested that the students play hide and seek uh, to hide from me so we could just be there all night. To which I responded, oh, and I suppose you're going to have Katie Stu suggest that you all change into camo, so I really can't find any of you. <laughs> I remember some of you getting very annoyed with how funny Katie and I thought that was. Katie, I will miss hearing our sense of humor. Some of you got involved in new experiences this year, like the engineering course at Madison County, Madison County Career Academy and working in the elementary classroom supporting students and helping teachers. Then there are those of you who have faced some tough challenges this year. There have been injuries and life events happening, whether you were ready for them or not. Then there are some of you that graduated a semester in order to save money for the next phase of your life. You have all taken these life experiences, good, bad, or ugly, and persevered and risen up to the challenge to succeed. I hope you are proud because we are. While I know I have not included all of the memories that I could, if I did, we would be here all night, and I have strict instructions to keep it short. Right, bro? So in consideration of time, let's focus on what's next. As you prepare to set out on separate journeys, I encourage you all to take the memories and lessons from your time here at Earlham Community Schools to drive you to be the change you wish to see. My hope for you is that you stay true to who you are, to embody empathy, inclusion, and resilience in all that you do. Just as the words and actions of we are the world, I hope that you understand that you are the world. You are the ones that can make any situation a brighter place, and if you work together with those around you, you can make a difference. And I encourage you to use your voices to advocate for what you believe in, most importantly, Leave every place, person, and situation you encounter throughout your life better than you found it. 
Make sure to leave your mark, but do so positively. Those strong personalities and social skills that I have referenced will serve you well. I appreciate the conversations I have had with so many of you throughout the years, some waiting until this year. These conversations have been so valuable to me and have allowed me to see you in the most wonderful ways. Oh. So, as we say goodbye to this chapter of your lives, let us do so with gratitude for the experiences we have shared and excitement for the adventures that lie ahead. And let us always remember that no matter where life may take you, you will forever be connected as members of this extraordinary senior class. Congratulations, class of 2024. You are the world, and together you can make it a brighter place. Thank you.
Additionally, they wear a special medallion around their necks today to honor their achievement at their excellence in Spanish and being bilingual. They can speak, write, as well as read both languages. May I please have the following students stand to be recognized. Lily Connery, Roman Fisk, Ty Forsch, Ella Hinky, Aiden Holbert, Owen Holbert, Katie Jansen, Tanner Morrison, and Ty Willow.
They have successfully completed the course of study and earned all credits set forth by the Iowa Department of Education and the Earlham Community School Board of Education. Walker Eugene 
Cooper James Michael.
applause for the class of 2024. The class of 2024 has prepared a senior class video showcasing then and now photos. Class, please move to the front area in the front of the stage and aisle through the audience. Keep your diplomas with you. They get into position. A special thank you to Lily Connery and Ella Hinkey for organizing and preparing this video to showcase our seniors from photos her classmates submitted to them. I also want to take this moment to thank Shannon Derrickson Paint for being in almost every single one of our school events, taking pictures of our kids to share with all of us, just as she's doing again today. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> new this year, we use one of our new backdrops with the Earl and Cardinals, and similar to college graduations where our student can pose with their diploma in front of that and have a very nice formal photo. Shannon did all those photos before our ceremony today in our South Gym, and so those will be available as well as the, the class photo. So again, a round of applause for Shannon. Yeah. 
this moment in the back of my mind. The time we stood with our shaking hands, the crowds and stands went wild. We were the kings and the queens, and they read off our
Can we give a round of applause to Ellen Hinky and Willie Connery for putting that together? Throughout this 13 year journey, these graduates have had tremendous support from their parents, families, teachers, community, and friends. So, on behalf of the graduates and the school, we'd like to now recognize the parent or guardian of each graduate. Would the parents of these graduates please stand?